Okay, this mnemonic is great to remember B vitamins and the deficiencies that go along with each B vitamin. And that, of course, the name with the B vitamin, not just B1, but to know that B1 is thiamine. It's, it's important. It's it's kind of can make it really easy, this mnemonic. And I did well with the boards. It was very clear. And then even now when I'm talking to colleagues or you know patients, I can recall very easily the B vitamins and their deficiencies based on this mnemonic. So I hope you enjoy it. And we'll start, I drew out all the pictures ahead of time to kind of make this quickly move, uh, you know, move through this quickly. But I really, really suggest that you take your time and sketch out the drawings because then you remember it better. So let's start with thiamine. So B1 is thiamine and thiamine reminds me of thigh. And it, the deficiency is berry berry. So I put a couple of berries around the thigh region. And, and that's how I remember thigh, thymine. So we got thymine right here. And so then, oh, so berry berry, in case you don't know, because it kind of helps to know what they are, it's an inflammation of the nerves. You have a wet and a dry berry berry. So like I said, you can draw whatever you want to in your berries and your thigh. I'm going to keep it clean and keep it just, that's what I'm putting there. And then the wet berries are for the heart and the dry berry berry is um, for the nerves. So you can add to it also in that area. You can draw different things that would help you remember, you know, the wet and the dry berry berry symptoms if you needed to for your board. So B2 riboflavin uh, I remember it as ribs. So you go from B1 is thigh into ribs, B2. There's not really a deficiency. I mean, it's pretty rare, but if you wanted to, you could draw, cause it's for like lesions in the mouth, the skin, the eyelids. So there was a movie called Scrooged where they had like the um, faces inside the rib cages and you could always draw like a little face inside the ribs. If you needed to know that that deficiency would be from like the lesions in the mouth, skin, eyes. You could draw it under the ribs. That would be kind of cool when you sketch it out yourself. So B3 is niacin. And that reminds me of neck, right? So neckacin, you could say. So if you look at it, you have thigh, ribs, and neck, right? So you have, you start with the thigh, you go to the ribs, and then you finish at the neck for your one, two, three in the beginning. One, two, three is thigh, ribs, neck, thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. Niacin um, is deficiencies would be pellagra, which, and then you have the four Ds, which is death, diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis. And pellagra um, reminds me of Pellegrino. So I just do like a Pellegrino, you know, that they're drinking, going down the neck area, you know, they're swallowing it down the neck. So it's a little bit like a, of a stretch in a sense, but you know that Pellegra is going through the neck, the niacin. And so um, that's your one, two, three, pretty easy and pretty easy to remember the order of those. So, oh, if you didn't know what Pellegra is, it's the inflamed skin, so sores in the mouth. Maybe you notice some skin darkening or stiffening, peeling, like um, probably in the lower legs and the ankle and the heels. So now we're going to skip. Let's move that skip down to here. And I'm going to remove these things because I don't want you to get confused. And I would get confused. So you could also just draw out two um, Draw two skeletons and then do your one, two, three on the one of the skeletons because what we're going to do now is we're going to roll into the outer layer of this the skeleton. And we're going to still go in the same order. Start low to high. Remember low to high <clears throat> and you'll be just great with this. So we have pantothletic. And if you can see where I'm going with this, it sounds like pants, right? And so let's find a good picture of a pair of pants. We got some pants right there. And it's good for adrenal problems and infertility. So infertility under the pants, you know, adrenal problems, pants, you can put that in your way together, and especially if you need it for boards. But it is also pretty rare because we get enough of the B5. So um, cholesterol, hormones, 
uh, pantothenic is for is 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 will cause that deficiency if you don't have enough of it. All right, B six paradoxine, right? So let's see. It's going to be in the mid area, and we're going to do a pyramid halter. So we're going to put a top on there. So it looks like if you draw it, like I was saying, and you maybe add color, you can add whatever you want to to your picture. You're going to remember it. You remember that's so like a little halter top, and it looks like a pyramid halter top still. So paradoxine is the halter top in the middle, and um, paradoxine. It's good for when you're de well when you're deficient you'll have anemia um, chronic stress but it's pretty rare also because it's found in a lot of foods so I didn't put anything on there for that to remember that but if you need to for your test obviously you need to add to your your halter top there B7 biotin so I think of biotin as the tin man's hat because we're moving remember from low to high two rounds one, two, three, skip, five, six, seven, and then we'll skip again. So we'll do the Tin Man, we'll put his little hat on top. And what I would do is let's add, because biotin is good for hair, that's a very thin hair. I would just draw some hair under the tin, under, under his tin hat, right? Under the biotin. And biotin helps create keratin, so. Oh boy, I, that looks so, so sorry. And now it looks like some weird clown in a creepy movie. Okay, but if you get it, it's hard to do this um, on this sketch pad. So definitely at home, you're going to probably do a most amazing job than I can do. So, and it's also rare. They sell a lot of products with um, biotin, but it's better to find it in your foods. And... Um, you know, nuts, liver, avocado, uh, there's a, lots of foods to get your B vitamins in. Nutritional yeast, a great way to get your, your vitamins. So let's do the skip. Let's put that skip here. So we're going we're gonna to skip. We went uh, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, thigh ribs neck, skip. You know, we did the pants that middle halter outfit top, and then the Tin Man's hat. So we did it under, you know, under on the skeleton, then over on the clothes, and then we skip, and now we gotta add some, let's see, so we have folate. And folate, I, I imagine you know this word, foliage, and foliage is, um, you know, like the shrubs and greenery around, so I, grew, I put some foliage there. And what folate is good for, it, is for pregnancy growth development. So when you're deficient, you could have problems in, in all those areas. And so one way to remember that is you can put a little baby just nesting all sweetly in the foliage area. And that's a great way. And you sketch, uh, please sketch these. This would be so much, they're fun to kind of draw and you just remember them and you create your own rendition of this story. So we're finally on the last one, which is B12, cobalamin. And I look at cobalamin, especially for the story, which works really well for me, is to put a cobra. And because it's good for pernicious anemia, neuropathy, tingling. So let's put a cobra here. What's nice is because, it, like I said, when you're, you got to re recall something, having this vision, then you're taking the board, you close your eyes, you're like, there's a cobra by the the bottom of their legs for neuropathy peripheral neuropathy right and then there's when a cobra bites you probably some tingling probably some blood loss for anemia and if you need to remember pernicious so i had to think about this myself so i'm like how do i know because there's three three of these b vitamins that are really good for um, anemia or can cause that deficiency of anemia which would be B6, B9, and B12. So if you want to remember on the board and you don't want to second guess yourself for pernicious, that cobra could strike per a cat, purring a pernicious cat. The cobra could strike the cat or strike you. So it's a great way to kind of, they're silly, obviously, but the silly things is what you retain, those kind of stories. So um, I, I think that's all, and I think that you can, you. Can really excel in these B vitamins and so if you have any questions for me please let me know and let me help you with the next mnemonic that you need for your board.